Hey everybody, Brian from Witch Doctor here doing an update on my powder storage um, measurements. If you're not familiar or if you haven't seen some previous videos I've done, um, what I did is about two years ago bought a Kestrel Drop D3 because I was curious about whether the inside of an open jug Notice this one has a very loose cap. Um, also, the other part of it fell into the powder. I can't really see it. I can see it down there, but you can see the, the piece that was supposed to go on here fell in, and all that's left is this smaller piece. Actually, I'm just going to throw it away. Anyway, I was curious to see if storage in these HDP, uh, DPE2 containers, which you can see right here on the bottom. Um, it might be hard to see, but... Um, there's a little number two surrounded by a triangle and it says HDPE. Same kind of plastic used for like milk jugs and uh, pharmaceutical med medication bottles, things like that. Um, I was curious to see if there was any humidity from the outside coming into the jug. Okay, So what I did is I got this Kestrel Drop D3. I created a little uh, I used that sort of fireproof tape, a little cradle for it. I was just concerned, you know, I don't, putting something into a thing of, you know, gunpowder, uh, I don't know, a little uncomfortable. So went ahead and made this sort of fireproof cradle in case, uh, cradle in case there was a spark or something that came out of here. I doubt that'll happen, but just to be on the extra safe side, make sure that the, the coil there that, you know, measures humidity, temperature, etc. was exposed and then took this <laughs> homemade dual and dropped it into the, well not dropped it, set it into the jug so it stood up. Okay, so let's do that now. All right, it's standing up okay and I can remove that. And then I carefully place the jug somewhere. I had this jug outside in the elements hidden from my kids of course uh, in the, the Pacific Northwest United States where it is humid uh, well above 50 percent humidity uh, year-round um, some summer days we will drop humidity below 50 sometimes it's like 30 or so uh, but I'd say I'm going to just guess off the top of my head, 10 months out of the year, maybe 9, months out of the, nine 10 months out of the year, we're well above 50% humidity. Put it outside for quite a while. We also have, you know, temperature variations because we do get the seasons here. So in winter, we'll have some weeks that are in the 20 degree Fahrenheit, some weeks that are 30, some weeks that are 40. And then once you get into like spring, You'll start seeing upper 40s, 50s, some low 60s. And then summer, we typically get 70 to 80 degree days all summer. Sometimes we can get as hot as 90, um, triple digits once in a blue moon. And then you get into fall, temperature starts dropping to around 50 degrees, 40. And then in winter, it usually stays underneath 50 degrees. Anyway, um, so variable temperatures that I've exposed this bottle to, variable humidities, um, very high degree of humidity, 100% level of, I put it outside when it's 100% humidity and left it out there for two months in a row. Not every day was 100%, but <laughs> most many days were 100%. Most were definitely above 90. And so I wanted to do everything that I could to get the inside of this powder to show increases in humidity when it was very humid when i exposed the closed jug to external humidity and again this jug has one of the seals that's busted the seal that goes in the cap is fine but the actual seal um, on the jug is busted it, it was busted so one would think oh boy okay with one of the seals busted, this thing's sitting outside for several months in, you know, really high humidity environments. It's been, again, this test has been ongoing for just about two years now. Um, that it would, you know, it would, the powder would be exposed to high levels of humidity. So, the drop itself, 
um, has this nifty little app. It's a really nice app. If you ever want to do this testing yourself, this is a great little setup with the Kestrel Drop and the associated app. The app has a nice convenient interface to say, okay, I want a date range on the data that I want to look at. So I think the last video I published about this to update was maybe three months ago, sometime in December. Let's go back to October, end of October. And let's end it um, today. Go forward to the Ides of March. Oh wait, February 21st. This is another thing about my test. So often I leave the jug outside or something that I kind of forget about it. Well, the battery died on February 21st. So I went ahead and actually replaced the battery today. So I do have like a week of data that's not in there. Let's go to February 20th and make that our day. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, darn it. I hit the wrong one. Let's go back. Again, what did I say? October 31st, and then end. Oh, what do I have to press? Okay, I just I just didn't press it. My angle that I'm pressing the buttons here is kind of weird. Okay, and let's go January, February 21st at 2 a.m. Looks like 2 a.m. was when it quit on us. And there you go. It gives us this nice graph. So. You can look at relative humidity, temperature. Okay, so let's go starting from February. Pretty consistent low temps. Um, I had this thing in the garage for a little while in February, so that's why it's showing, if you can't see, roughly 54 degrees. So, oh, and then here I think I may have had it outside. So this is where I took it from outside, put it inside. I'm going back in time, by the way, from February 19th to back to November. So it looks like on, what day is this? December 28th, I had it outside prior to that and then I took it inside to the garage and now you can see it went from 38 degrees outside to roughly 53 degrees inside the garage. But you can see, you know, exposed it to some cold temperatures during that time. Um, Okay, so just keep going back to November. So there you go. Um, in terms of temperature variation, usually what happens in this jug, and I also have a Kestrel that I'm measuring the temperature in my garage, or I put it outside with the jug to me measure temperature and humidity outside the jug. Anyway, this is all consistent with what my Kestrel has been measuring for temperature. Uh, the, the jug itself, the air inside does vary with the temperature outside it literally is the same this is why they use hdpe for milk jugs so that the milk when you put it in the refrigerator the milk will mirror the temperature of your refrigerator anyway so relative humidity let's go go back all the way to the beginning of november and what we're seeing here is about 61 percent or so humidity inside the jug whereas the humidity inside the garage was about 80%. And you're seeing a pretty flat curve here. Well, not even a curve, it's just kind of almost a flat line. It's varying from maybe 61% to, I'm getting, I saw 61.8 for a little bit, but it, it's routinely around 61.5. And not getting much movement. Again, the, the line is very flat. Um, 62 K okay, still 62. I'm into January, 2023 now. Uh, again, the garage, according to my, um, other Kestrel, my ballistics Kestrel that I keep on the top of, um, some countertops here out exposed in the garage. So it shows about 80% humidity. So even in exposure to several months now, being in the garage exposed to um, about 80% humidity, we're seeing not much variation on the actual humidity in the jug. I'm seeing, you know, yeah, between, oh, there went a time where the battery went dead and I had to put a new battery in. 
Uh, another oh this is the new battery this is another battery that went dead so anyway um and i pulled it out and then i actually put the new battery in when i had put the new battery in the kestrel was outside in the garage and you can see about 80 percent humidity um in the garage while i had the kestrel outside of the jug replacing the battery okay so so essentially we're seeing that even with chronic exposure in terms of the humid humid environment outside of the jug around 80 percent is where the garage stays humid you, again this is where the battery went dead i pulled it out of the jug and it took me some time to get the battery back in but then after taking measurements outside of the jug in my garage you can see it went up to about 80 85 percent or so so even with chronic exposure to 80-85% of humidity, you can see that while that drop is in the jug, it's not really increasing. The humidity is staying about the same, somewhere in like the 61-62% range. So yeah, I'm, I'm for the life of me not able to get the humidity inside the jug to increase to any appreciable degree. It seems to be relatively stable, even in chronically humid environments. So my conclusion on that, you know, unless I see any other data otherwise, is that these HDPE jugs are safe um, to uh, protect the powder inside from humidity. It looks like they will vary by temperature though. So if you keep it stored somewhere where it's, let's say 35 degrees Fahrenheit, the inside will get to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you expose it to 80 plus percent humidity for several months, like I have just now, and you can see there, it will, the humidity inside will stay the same. Okay, and you can even look at other indicators, heat stress index inside the jug. Even that's a little, well, there's a little variation there. 50, 48, 49. Heat stress index kind of hovers between 48 and 51. Dew point, again, that one, well, there's some fluctuation there. 38 to 45. Dew point, but, hmm, yeah, it's... So usually somewhere between 30 and 42 with a little periodic spikes here and there. Um, station pressure uh, should be pretty consistent except, actually, we had a pretty bad week last week with station pressure. It got pretty low. We had a storm come in. Anyway, um, looks like the station pressure is varies with the standard station pressure that's outside of the jug. This is all pretty much matching with the ballistics kestrel that I keep out in the garage. Oh, I think that that might be when the is that when the battery went dead. Yeah, and this is now okay. So station pressure twenty nine point four four. That's pretty low for where I'm sitting. Twenty nine point three three. Yeah. 29.67 so yeah i think it is reading some of the low pressures that we've gotten lately with the storms anyway so uh there you go you can get density altitude also but for for the purpose of this test i looked at temperature relative humidity and the kestrel drop as it sits inside this hdpe jug with about a quarter of a fill of rl26 powder uh, is not getting exposed to humidity even after putting it <laughs> in high humid environments for very lengthy amounts of time. Again, I think I'm going on two years with this test and I have not been able to get any of the humidity inside the jug to increase to more than a percentage or two. So there you go. Um, have confidence that storing it in these jugs will uh, protect it from external humidity. Again, unless I see data otherwise, maybe there's some other different environment or some other different variable going on that would cause concern for increasing humidity inside the jug. But as far as I'm sitting here in the Pacific Northwest, highly humid environment, exposing this thing to extreme humidity for chronic long-term periods of time, 
I'm not seeing any changes in the humidity inside the jug. All right, everybody. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, and share. And also, please check out my Patreon.